In computer science, we try to make the technology better, we try to make the hardware better or the software better, but in MIS, our goal is to really make the business better, and, and we use technology to do that. So our MIS students uh, have uh, business classes in all the core business disciplines, and we really understand the business functions and you know what really makes a business work better. And then our goal is to take the technology to uh, tailor it to the business and customize it to make it work better. Our MIS classes tend to be very application driven where we learn how to develop business applications and customize them to make the business uh, perform better than other, than other businesses in the area. For me, I mean, um, I have a technical background. I come with two engineering degrees and I'm working on my MBA in the MIS concentration. So I've always wanted a really career path where I can utilize my technical skills as well as focus on uh, managerial skills and develop them. Well, uh, my advice would be to concentrate on both the technical as well as the um, understanding of business uh, knowledge. Um, I've noticed that many MIS students tend to uh, neglect one of these two um, important basically categories or portions of the of the major where you have students that think that okay MIS is just programming or you know web design and others that think that well MIS is not computer science and hence I only have to concentrate on communication and understanding of business project business uh, um, and processes so I would say um, my, my advice for MIS students is to concentrate on both. I like that I can formulate my own program so if I have a problem I feel like I'll be able to make my own program rather than relying on a program and trying to tweak it to help me or relying on someone else. Maybe I can just make my own. Programming sequence in our uh, MIS curriculum, we uh, learn how to do cool things like object-oriented programming, uh, web-based programming, and also we are moving towards mobile programming because that's really what businesses need in order to uh, get that edge and sort of make them work better. Uh, than their competitors. I think one of my favorite classes was Programming 3. We actually had to develop our own personal website and that was really fun. Um, there's a major online presence now. Everything's online. So to be able to build my own website was really cool and I have that. I have those skills that I can take with me. And then in programming, one of my favorite things that we did was create um, these different generators where you have like, it would end up just taking different words and combining them and making really just ridiculous sentences. In the Database class, uh, we uh, talk about how to get requirements from businesses and build them better and more efficient databases that don't have excess information, that don't uh, and that have good information quality, because that leads to a high level of business intelligence, which again is what gives businesses their competitive edge. I always really liked computers, and I wanted to learn more about them. And I kind of have a little bit of an analytical mindset, and I always have. I like to be able to fix things and correct things, so it really just kind of fit my personality and what I like to do. Networking class is really the class where our students get the opportunity to look at infrastructure and look at cool things like servers and uh, telecom networks and security and just try and understand so uh, you know how they can interact with engineers uh, whom they'll be working with later on for the infrastructure side of the business. Healthcare informatics is a new minor that we've added to the curriculum and this year in fact is the first time that we're adding in the healthcare informatics course that I'll be teaching. And that course is actually designed to be a springboard for our students. It's getting them some knowledge about healthcare and being able to speak intelligently with the nursing and the other staff in the healthcare industry and also to understand what's going to be needed in terms of technology. What types of systems are they going to need, what type of information has to be delivered in those systems, and how to interact with the healthcare professionals. The job market at the uh, University of Tulsa, MIS students, is abundant. We have way more employers reaching out to our MRS students than we've ever had before. There's opportunities in internships as well as full-time positions. What we found in, in talking with uh, recent university graduates and as well as kids that haven't graduated yet is what we're finding uh, kids with an MIS degree tend to be a little bit more well-rounded. Really in today's business world you've got to be able to communicate. You've got to be able to understand business processes. You've got to be understand you got to be able to understand what makes a business work and technology for the most part although it can advance the business it's, it's typically in the background. So you got to understand the business and having those technical skills will, will truly uh, benefit you when you graduate and, and be able to contribute a lot sooner to the, uh, the needs of the business. If you know your, your child has an aptitude for computers, uh, whether it's the 
technical side, whether it's the database side, whether it's hardware, software, then encourage that because um, MIS is a great field for, for them to go into. Each year, of course, it goes up because the demand goes up and of course the um, rate of the demand of college students goes up and at this point the uh, median salary is 65000 For people who are thinking about MIS as a major, I would definitely say if you have any interest in technology and you want a job, MIS is a great major. You know, it can be kind of scary at first if you're more business side to think about the technology aspect, but it really meets both of those needs and uh, can give you that well-rounded quality. So. Definitely come see an advisor, talk to the professors, get information. That's what I did. I was actually in the IT department. I know that it's never going to go away. There's really good job security and every industry needs a computer person. So I feel confident that I will get a job and there's really good placement from TU and the MIS field. I would recommend not to judge MIS based upon MIS 1123. That course is about applications and being able to make decisions from them. I would recommend to a student to take Programming 1 course and in that course they can determine do they like programming. But then also not to decide, oh I hate programming, I'm not going to go on and into the MIS curriculum. It's being able to understand the value of the programming and also understand that you can be something beyond that and being able to speak and communicate with clients. And so MIS is adding the value of having the technical side and also the business side to it. So I would recommend taking Programming 1 and, and making a decision from that. I would say with this generation, computers is something they know really well, and the MIS major is something where not only you to utilize the um, subject of computers, but you're also having a relationship with people, and every industry, no matter what industry you're in, needs IT and MIS students.